stop loss. The concept of a stop loss is uh, very similar to a take profit, but it is um, the other way around. It's the opposite, actually. So this uh, is our market movement. We enter into a buy order, and we can embed a stop loss with our buy order. So it's it's an additional order in uh, uh, the forex market, but it is linked to our buy order. So basically, what it means is if the price was ever to go and reach this red level or go below it, then the buy order has to be automatically closed. So that kind of saves you the trouble of monitoring the market and always worrying and checking if the price has gone down because you put this uh, rule into your buy order and uh, as soon as this condition is met, your buy order will be closed. So this is the market going down um, against us. So we were thinking it was going to go up, but actually went down. And then bam, price crosses our stop loss and the order gets closed. Of course, this uh, yields a certain loss on our account. So at this stage, you would ask why is a stop loss good and if it, it brings losses? Well, let's see what happens to the market uh, further down the track. It goes a bit up, it goes down, it goes up, and then goes further down. So as you can see, there could have been potentially a much higher loss. Uh, say this one, or even this one, so or even more than that. And uh, so it's better to um, control your losses and um, uh, exit exit uh, according to your trading strategy and exit on time rather than overweight and bear a very high loss. So smaller losses are much better than bigger losses, and that's where your stop loss comes into play. Uh, it helps you uh, exit the market because what what we're doing in trading is we won't always win in all of our trades. There will be loss losses. Inevitably, there'll be losses on the account. And it's all about managing those losses, managing those risks, and getting out of the market on time. And that's where your stop loss will help you control the losses on your account. It's a very important feature, and uh, I highly recommend to always set a stop loss for um, any of your orders. Let's look at a stop loss for a sell order. So a sell order, we're anticipating a downward movement in the market. Um, we can set a stop loss, which has to be above the entry price. And that's because when we anticipate a downward movement, we will uh, only lose if there's an upward movement. So let's see what happens in the market. The price goes a bit against us and goes kind of in our favor, but then it crosses our stop loss. And unfortunately, um, there's a small loss on the account. Um, let's see what happened to the price going forward. Went up, went even further up. So if not for our stop loss, we could have closed the order there, or we could have even closed it there. And that would have been a much, much greater uh, loss on the account. So as you can see, stop losses, even though they bring losses to the account, but they are very, very uh, useful and very helpful in controlling your risks and managing uh, any potential losses on the account. And so just a final note to finish off, um, take profits and stop loss can and probably should be set together. Uh, as I said, I, all, I recommend always setting a stop loss and you can uh, combine it with a take profit if you like. You can set both of them and attach them to one order. Finally, a, a word of uh, caution, uh, sometimes when uh, the market volatility is very, very high, for example, during um, uh, in market news, the broker, your broker may not be able to execute your stop loss. It is a very rare uh, condition, but sometimes happens when there's just basically no price, no takers at your stop loss level or take profit level. And what will happen then is a, a, a massive slippage can happen. And um, even though you have a stop loss, it's not a 100% guarantee that the, uh, your order will be closed as stop loss. It's probably like a 90, 95% guarantee, but sometimes it does happen that uh, an order can slip through. That's an inherent risk of the Forex market. Uh, you have to be aware of that. And that's why I uh, highly recommend having a look at my tutorials on uh, fundamental trading and uh, seeing how to kind of uh, understand when there's market movements so you don't 
uh, you avoid trading at those times. That's that's what I personally do. I kind of stay out of the market when I know there's going to be massive movement. 